and when you think about cassia, you have to think about the shriveling up of flesh. Look at them say, the shriveling up of your flesh. More of this anointing. To walk in the anointing, and I need to say this before I go forward. To walk in the anointing, you don't need more of Christ. You need less of you. I have the faith that can see the invisible, expect the incredible, receive the impossible. Faith that can conquer anything. I have the faith that can see the invisible, expect the incredible, receive the impossible Ooh, faith that can conquer Anything. Sweet calamus or sweet cane is a product of the Arabia of a tawny color. In appearance, it is like a common cane and strongly erodious. All is frequently mentioned in scripture as an emblem of sanctification. Paul talks about sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourself daily. You've got to walk under the anointing with holiness and righteousness and godliness and cleanliness. Since my assignment is to speak about the myrrh, which means bitter, I thought I'd give it a little tag. And the tag for this assignment is the bitter truth. Now, with this bitter truth, we are supposed to go through the bitter. Then we will be exposed to the truth. And from there, we will In order for better. someone to gather more from, from a plant, a person had to cut into the bark and allow the sap to ooze out. It's time for us to do the same. It's time for us to cut into our lives in order to find the truth. Let some of that sap ooze out. The good news is that God does not discard the sap that we cut our lives. God has a purpose for everything that he, we have gone through or will be going through. He allows us to identify our release bitter to someone else who is a nephews because we've been through that bitter so we can recognize We need bitter. to break for station identification. Come on and lift those hands and tell God thank you. Lift those hands, raise those voices. Somebody tell God thank you. Thank you for the bittersweet. Thank you for the bitter truth. Thank you, God. What a mighty God we serve. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody tell God thank you. What a day to be a witness of. Wrapped up in these ingredients is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We learn about the wood, the tree that he was crucified. We know that he was born in a stable. And then we learn about the bruising and the piercing, all wrapped up in these ingredients. When we look at this tree now, amen. At the surface, we find the bark. And, but if we look a little bit deeper than the bark, we will find beyond the bark is what is called sap. It is the sap now, amen, that gives off uh, a certain element to the bark. And the bark now is what gives off the cinnamon scent. But understand that there is a process. The, I, I'm from the West Indies. Anybody from the West Indies? I'm from the West Indies. In the West Indies, amen, when any time you had a, a cold, any time something was wrong with you, amen, if you had a stomach ache, mama had a, some bark in the backyard. Ah, God, yes. Uh, she had some type of bush, amen, mama. I got a headache. It, 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 it was a bush. Mom, my stomach don't feel good. It, 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 it's a bush. Mom, mom, I got a toothache. It's a bush. Mom would go to the backyard, amen, and had a tree for every ailment that you had. And, and, I, and I can see mama now in the backyard, amen, with this special type of knife carving the bark off the tree. And, 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 and I got really upset. Why? Because anytime I drunk the tea that came from the bark, the tea was exceptionally bitter. Oh, 
God. Ah, oh, Lord. And, 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 and if you had a mother like mine, she made it real strong. So I would have to drink the tea, hold it by nose like this. Why? Because it was bitter to the taste, but it was good for the body. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Some of us here, amen, uh, God, amen, has called, amen, us uh, to, 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 to a place where our bark needs to be aggravated. Yes, uh, he has called us to the place where our bark must be peeled off. Uh, and though it may cause some discomfort and though it may cause some pain, uh, it is necessary to your spirit. Uh, uh, in order for you to be the man or woman of God that God has called you to be, you have got to experience some pain. You've got to experience some bitter things, some things that are, un that are not tasteful, some things that are unpleasant, but yet still it is part of the process to get you to where you got to go in God. But the thing now, amen, what made it worse past the battle was this. It didn't stop at the bitterness of the bark. In order for you to really get the true essence of the cinnamon, the bark had to be taken and heated at a certain temperature. Lord, help us in here tonight. In order for God to get, amen, what he had to get from the cinnamon, the bark had to be placed on top of the fire. And the fire had to be increased. Some of us us here, amen, though we are going through what we're going through and it's bitter to our taste, uh, to add insult to what we're going through, God has to turn the fire up uh, in our lives. Uh, but I've come to witness to somebody here tonight and let them know uh, that even though you're going through the fire, you're going to come out smelling all right. Uh, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, you may be in the fire uh, and you may be bitter, uh, but you're coming out smelling all right. I need your glory. I want your glory. Here it is. Less of me and more of you is what I need. Come on, say, show me your glory. Show me your glory. I'm ready for my next level. Me too. Show me your power. Less of me, more, more of you is what I need. Fire, will you help me sing? I need your glory. I want your glory. I want your glory. That's my desire now. I, I crave you. Less of me, more, more of you is what I need. This is my prayer. Show me your glory. Father, can you show me your power? I can't go any further. Less of me. Less of me. What I need, God. What I need. Well, Pastor Murphy, this is what happens to us. Sing this right here. So many times I tried my way. Oh, yeah. Touch it, he'll touch it back. Touch it, he'll touch it back. Touch it, he'll touch it back. Sing to God. It's your season. The aura of this anointing is going to last you not only this year and next year, but the rest of your life. You don't hear what I just said. This aura, this anointing is releasing, it's motivating, it's mobilizing, it's going to last you the rest of your life. Come on, don't get in God's face and don't get what you need. Don't get in God's face and don't get what you need. Don't access this anointing and don't get what you need. Come on. You have access. Start to administrate what you hear. Start to move on what you hear. Something is leaping inside of you. Come on, talk in the Holy Ghost. Come on. I just heard God say again, tell the saints, talk in the Holy Ghost. Confuse the devil. Confuse the adversary. Talk in the Holy Ghost. He that speaks in the Moving ahead, here to declare to you, the past is over, you, the things are made new.